Hey everybody, I'm Greg, and on this video I've got some weatherproof theater solution Bluetooth or wired speakers. So you do have that option of going either wired or the Bluetooth. And these are 8 inch speakers. They are designed to look like a couple of rocks so that they fit into your landscape. And uh, I will be going over the pros, the cons, and everything in between. So let's get into the video. Let's check these things out. Alright you guys, so this just gives you some perspective on how far away the speakers are located from our actual patio area. So there's what they call the child speaker over there on the other side of the swimming pool. And here is the main speaker unit that plugs into power right over there, just to the left of that little tree. And so normally we'll have our iPad sitting right here on the patio, uh, covered patio table and the Bluetooth reaches uh, no problem all the way out to the uh, speaker over there by the tree which plugs into power. Okay so what's in the box? When you open the box you get the two 8 inch powered Bluetooth speakers. You get the power supply that comes with it. You get a uh, 10 foot speaker wire which isn't nearly enough. I actually added a 25 foot speaker wire between the parent speaker and the child speaker they call it. So the parent speaker is your wired speaker. The child speaker is the one that you've got running off of that. You've got your owner's manual and that's what's in the box. So probably best uses for these would be pool like we've got decks, backyards, gardens, patios, um, any outdoor venues where you don't want obvious great big speakers you know sunrooms, atriums, anywhere where you want something to blend in and they just look really nice so so looking at this main speaker I've actually had this set of speakers for over a year now so I buried the uh, the wire so there's a little power wire that goes over to the main adapter right here and just tip it up for you not a lot going on under here I did take um, and added about a 30 foot speaker cable run. That's probably a 12 or 14 speaker gauge wire. And I coiled up the remaining wire underneath that. And uh, not a lot going on under there. Pretty, pretty simple really. Just seal up the speaker. And as you can tell, it's got a good metal grill on it. It's been out here in the weather. Uh, we're in St. George, Utah. Super hot here during the summer. It's up to about a broiling 120 degrees. So the child speaker is way down there, uh, almost halfway to the slide. All right, you guys, so this is what they call the child speaker or the uh, non-powered speaker. And if you look down the curb there, it is at least a good 30 or so feet to the, uh, what they call the parent speaker, the powered speaker. So way down there, you can barely make it out on the other side of the outlet. So just to give you a quick look here, underneath this speaker, I got a little extra speaker cable that I just wound up. And like I say, they only send you uh, with about a 10 or 15 feet of speaker wire. So I did add additional speaker wire on here because I wanted these speakers further apart for the pool, just so that we could uh, you know, enjoy it all the way as much as humanly possible. Alright, so like with anything, I would recommend that you lay these speakers out in your backyard before you actually um, bury any wires or permanently place these. So I took these out, I kind of placed them, I plugged them in, then I took my iPad and I took my cell phone, I connected up the Bluetooth, I checked the range, I checked, okay, is this gonna work? Basically, I didn't want the iPad or the iPhone sitting out in the full sun, because we live where it gets really hot, so I made sure it would reach from our patio area. It's about 25 feet away. So set the iPad in the patio area, put the speakers out along our back wall, made sure the connection was solid, kind of moved them around, made sure they were near their power, that everything was reaching, that there wasn't a connection problem. So basically, you know, read through the instructions when you go to set these up. Make sure you're within the range, within the Bluetooth acceptable range. 
um, and just kind of lay things out before you permanently connect everything up so you can kind of move things around, adjust things, make sure you've got a good solid connection before you permanently uh, place these speakers. So just do a little bit of testing and that'll just save you a lot of time and headache going forward. Like as I read the reviews uh, when I went to buy these, I was just looking at some of the reviews and it's just kind of looked like maybe people didn't do some placement work before they set these speakers up. So, so just, you know, take that into consideration. All right, you guys, I'm going to do a little test with these Bluetooth speakers and uh, just turn them on and give you a little volume test here really quick. So one sec. I've got the iPad here under the patio covering and the speakers are way out over along the back wall. So the, uh, the main speaker is off to the right over there by the power. And then the child speaker is over on the left, about 25 feet away. And like you can see, there's quite a bit of distance there and the Bluetooth has no problem connecting. Sounds really good, it's crisp, it's clear, and no problem whatsoever. Here, let me give you a demo. I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little bit so you can get an idea here. Do you mind turning the volume up a little bit, huh? So in this part of the video, let's go over some of the pros of these speakers for your outdoor system. All right, so one of the big pros is this system is dual use, so you can either use it with a regular receiver, or you can just use it straight, wireless, and Bluetooth, which is super nice to have, very handy. I just use it all wireless. I didn't want to run wires all the way out to the other side of our swimming pool. We, um, you do obviously have to have power, which we did have run out there but I didn't want to have a receiver out there, so it's just all Bluetooth and it works great. So one big pro right there. Hey okay, guys, another big pro is that this unit is really weatherproof. Um, I live in southern Utah and we get up to probably 120 degrees in the summer and the winter gets down to maybe 15 or 20 degrees at the coldest. But this thing is outside, it's out in our backyard. Um, it's been through the monsoons that we get, the rainstorms, it's been through the dry, the super hot heat that we get, and uh, these speakers just keep on going. I've had them for over a year now, finally got around to doing a review on these things, and they definitely put up with the heat, with the weather, with the rain, and the cold, and everything that we get. So um, as far as weatherproof and the weather resistance goes, these things are great. They are definitely uh, your good outdoor speakers. And so they are taking a beating and uh, they just keep on going. So weather resistance definitely are standing up to the challenge right there. All right, you guys, so another big positive is we just played the Sirius XM on the uh, patio table there through the iPad. And as you can see off to the right over by the wall on the other side of the fire pit is the main speaker the main rock speaker and then over to the left way on the other side of the pool probably 30 feet away is the child speaker and that bluetooth connection is solid it's clear it's crisp it's clean no problem whatsoever we just let it play all day like that and uh, don't have any issues at all so the distance the range there um, bluetooth plays just fine and like I say, it's a good solid clean connection and we don't have any issues with that. So right there, that's, that's a big positive. So on the positive side of things, I do have to mention that this uh, speaker set does actually have really good deep bass sound as well. Like I'll be in the swimming pool and you can actually hear the bass while you're in the water and I'll get up on the patio and it's like, you know what, that actually sounds like you're at a party somewhere. It does have some really impressive sound just for a couple of rock speakers. So for the price for what I paid for these things, it's got some good bass. Okay, so another positive, these speakers, I don't know what they're running right now, but price-wise. So you're not paying a whole lot and you're getting quite a bit for the outdoor speakers. So 
Price, another positive on these things. All right, so next we're gonna go over some of the cons of the speaker system and why it may not be such a great system. All right, so one con, you, you actually have to have it plugged into power, at least the main speaker unit needs to be plugged into power. So it's one thing you have to plan for, that main speaker needs to be near a power source somewhere, near a 120 plug. So some people um, would go for the battery powered unit. Uh, I wanted the more clear, crisp, clean sound, which I think is going to be your powered unit. So that's why I bought this particular model. So that may be a downside for some people, so that's going to be a con. Um, you have to have power somewhere, at least for that main speaker unit, and then the other child unit, they call it the child speaker, uh, that just runs off your other speaker wire. So. All right, so one of the negatives on this system is what's called a power save mode where the system, if it's inactive for a period of time, you're not using it, it will like go into this power save mode where you can't basically turn it on without powering it all the way off, which we found you have to unplug it and then plug it back in. Super annoying. So my fix for it, and I'll show you on camera if you need to, is I basically put on one of these little um, switches where you've got this little remote switch where you hit the little remote button, powers it off, powers it on, and that resolved the whole power save problem that we notice. So it's like a power save mode which they need to fix, they need to have some firmware upgraded or something. And anyway, so now when we're done using the system we just hit the clicker, power it off. When we go out to use it, power it on, and it gets away from that power save mode. Because it's powered off to begin with, we power it on, there is no power save mode anymore. And that gets around that, but that's definitely a negative that they need to fix on their next model. Here's the power adapter that comes with these speaker units. So this is the so-called waterproof electronic power adapter, they've got it called. And I've just got it plugged into power here. Here's basically uh, one of those same little, the clicker unit I call it. Um, this is a little remote, wireless remote unit that uh, turns the power off and on. It's basically the same thing you would use for your Christmas lights. So this is what we've used to get around uh, the, uh, the power save mode that these speakers come with works great so if you have uh, one of these things for your Christmas lights I suggest you use it and that gets around the power save uh, issue that we've run into on these speakers. Alright so another negative and my wife uses this a lot more than I do but she pointed out that being Bluetooth and sometimes it's just picky or stubborn but she'll go and try to connect and it's supposed to come up as an option for Theater Solutions Rock is what it's supposed to come up as and sometimes it just doesn't come up and so she'll have to use the clicker, shut it off, turn it back on and it'll pop up on her iPad or her cell phone as an option after two or three times and that can get super annoying. So it doesn't happen every time but that has been a problem sometimes. So just one of those things, maybe it's Bluetooth, maybe, um, maybe it's her phone. Alright, so another uh, downside is that this system does not seem to connect to uh, She Who Shall Not Be Named that starts with an A and uh, is also part of Amazon. And I, you know, could spend some more time with it. I've read a couple of tech reviews where apparently if you plug in the uh, hockey puck you can uh, get it to work or to sync with it. But yeah, it's kind of annoying because if you could uh, get that to play through, that would just open up a lot more options. So it's great that it plays through your phone, through your iPad, through your laptop, through the Bluetooth, and through Sirius XM, but the, uh, another downside, another negative. All right, so my conclusion on these speakers, honestly, look through the reviews. Don't just look at, you know, the main website where everybody buys everything. Go on and do a Google search, look up these things, see what other people are saying about them. I honestly really like them. I'm happy with them, especially for the amount of money I paid for these things. They were really easy to set up. They have really good sound. They've been reliable. They've been through some hellish temperatures. Like, we don't call this place crematoria for nothing. It gets so hot here. And the rain hasn't bothered them. Um, but, you know, check out the other reviews. See what other people are saying about them. If you use some uh, planning before you set these things up, you know, 
get on your phone, get on your Bluetooth, kind of space them out, plug them in, see, see what your range is, make sure you don't have anything uh, basically metal or concrete between your playable device and the speakers that's going to interfere with it, and you should be okay. So hopefully this video is helpful. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, check out some more awesome reviews that are coming up, and check out these other videos too while you're at it. Thanks so much you guys. I'll catch you later.